All right, guys, welcome back again. We got another Amp Dyno video coming your way. This one is a little bit newer of an amplifier, which is their KX line. This is going to be the 400.4 KX. Now this amplifier is pretty sleek. It turns on red when you turn it on. And what's awesome about these amplifiers is on the back here, there are the dials to tune and set your gains and everything. And it turns red when your gain is set correctly. It's a clipping indicator, which is awesome for especially beginners and even extremists like myself, where we don't need a DD1, we don't need to do anything fancy. They take the guessing game out of the equation. Now, what's awesome about this amplifier is it's gonna match my KX2400.1 that goes along with Cookie Monster. So I'll have everything matching in that build amplifier wise, kicker everything. I had an Alpine 454 channel, which will be on the uh, list of amp dynos to do, but I need to do this one first before I throw it in, pull that one out and we'll get that one coming too. We got some Alpine amps coming your way. Uh, so I know Troy Underwood would be very excited and he watches my channel all the time. So without further ado, let's get to this. We have uh, 50 RMS by four at four and 100 RMS by four at two ohms. So let's see if we can get some certified rated numbers out of this kicker amplifier. Here we go. All right, we got the KX 400.4. We have it wired at four ohms on one channel. And we're gonna see if we can get the 50 watts RMS at four ohms at 1% THD. Hey, maybe I should plug in the power supply. That might help. Need all the gigawatts we can get. What the hell is a gigawatt? said it gives you a little leeway for a super clean signal but look we got 61 watts at 3.9 ohms not bad that's a pass and that's certified so now let's try uncertified and see what we can get up to about 10 percent thd we don't like to go much more than that because it's not really sounding too good and it's making power but is it really usable power so let's see what we can get Turn the gain up. Wow. 5% THD, which is pretty high, but not nothing too crazy. And we were able to get exactly 100 watts at 4.2 ohms uncertified. That's literally the 2 ohm rating certified for this amplifier. So you can already see this thing's going to do rated and then some. Like all kicker amplifiers, man. Same story. Good products. That's all I can say. So now let's wire this at 4 ohms bridge just on the two channels out of four and see if we can get that 100 watts uh, RMS at four ohms. But since we're doing two of them, this number has to be 200 because we're bridging two. It'll be at four ohms, two ohms per channel, 100 watts, 100 watts. This number needs to be 200 watts certified when we bridge this. So hold on real tight. Let's see what we can get at 1% THD, the rating for this would be 200 RMS because we are testing two channels. All right, 213 watts certified at four ohms bridged at or 200 watts, so that's 100 watts at least at the RMS rating that it claims 
106.5 watts per channel at two ohms. Not bad. I was running the uncertified test on here and this amp did not want to stay on going past the uncertified number. Um, the voltage seems okay. I just don't think this amplifier is meant to do this at 40 some hertz. Probably a one kilohertz test tone. This would do fine. Um, but here, I'll show you what it's doing. Voltage is 14.7. I'll show you what's going on here. I know some guys wanted to see what it would do at a lower impedance. I mean, I could do that real quick because it's gonna do the same thing that it was doing at the four ohms, but the, I think the frequency is just too low for this type of amplifier. Nothing against kicker, but that's not how they test this kind of stuff. Not for a four channel that's meant to be a full range amplifier. It did certify it, so you can't even complain at it. You really can't. All right, we're trying a lower frequency, so we're gonna to try to get a lower impedance. That's it, man. She ain't, she ain't liking that. 3.4 ohms, so that's about 1.75, 1.7 ohms per channel, and our voltage is perfect. Uh, we were able to get the same amount of wattage out of it, but we're not getting any more than we would at the 4 ohm rating. So that's kind of how kicker does it, you know what I mean? You're not going to wire this thing down to a quarter ohm or a half ohm on a, on, on a mono block and get a ton more output out of it. But it's going to do those numbers and then some at the rated output. That's just how these amplifiers are. And they have awesome built-in circuitry. As you've seen, this thing was just not liking it. The voltage was fine, but this thing was saying, no way, I don't want to do that. Don't do that to just me. Just stop. Just stop it. Stop. No. Just stop. <laughs> and I just had this amplifier refurbished. I bought it used. There was an issue during shipping. And we got that fixed with the remote wire turn on. So I doubt that it's anything with this board amplifier itself. If I had some resistive testing where I could do a one kilohertz tone, see if that would make a difference. Maybe in a future episode, I can do that, even when it's in my car, and see if we can get anything more out of it um, at a one kilohertz tone. But nonetheless, this thing still did rated at four ohms at 40 hertz. You know, it did the certified numbers. Yes, you couldn't get anything past it, but you're not supposed to wire this thing down to two ohms and run subwoofers on. It's just not designed in that way. It is designed for your your mids, your, your highs, you know, eight inch drivers to play low if you really need it in your front doors or up to 20 kilohertz for your tweeters. This thing is the overall package deal. You're not gonna get something crazy at the high and something crazy at the low. It's the overall package. This is a four channel amplifier. This is meant for your doors. End of story. This is what this is designed to do. And with all the built-in circuitry that this thing has between the light up gains and the high pass, the low pass, everything's easily accessible. And then you can close this and it gives you that factory finish with an Allen key. You tighten these things up and it's like you don't have any dials at all. You know, this thing is clean. You know, it's just awesome that they put so much time and effort into the circuitry, the design, the features that it has. Yes, you're going to pay a little bit more, but this is one of the top tier products of kicker amplifiers. This and the Q series. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.
Sunday.